Good evening, everyone. Well, in the UP, there's no rivalry like that of NMU and Michigan Tech, and Saturday's battle for the Miners Cup inside the Superior Dome was quite the thriller. With four seconds remaining, the game came down to the foot of Huskies kicker Garrett Mead. His 39-yard field goal went right through the uprights as he sealed the 34-31 victory for Michigan Tech. The Huskies' efforts on Saturday night vaulted them into the American Football Coaches Association Division II Top 25 poll for the first time since 2012. The Huskies sit at number 23 and they join fellow GLIAC teams Ohio Dominican at number 8 and Fair State at number 13 in the Top 25. It was a big night for Meade who said getting the victory for Tech in such a big rivalry game was something special. Man, this was like the big one for the UP, like Coach always says, like this one is the bragging rights for a year, you know. This one is a serious game that we need to win, like back in our locker room we have a couple goals and one of them is win the Miners Cup, so it's an amazing feeling. We got a lot of confidence in him, uh, especially when he was two times this year, he's you know, made some big clutch uh, kicks and you know, it's huge. Time to go. And they're going to pitch to the Huskies are now 4-0 on the season as they head into their bye week while NMU travels to Saginaw Valley State on Saturday. WCHA hockey preseason coaches and media polls have been released and Minnesota State has been selected by both polls to win the WCHA. In the coaches poll, Michigan Tech was tabbed to finish third, right behind, of course, Minnesota State and Ferris State, while NMU was selected sixth and Lake Superior State ninth. In the media poll, Minnesota State and Ferris State are still one and two, followed by Bowling Green, Michigan Tech in fourth, NMU seventh, and Lake State ninth. The Husky Shane Hanna was named to the preseason All-WCHA teams as a defenseman in the media poll. Michigan Tech kicks off their season October 4th at Lake Superior State, while the Huskies begin their season October 17th in Green Bay against Wisconsin. To some high school tennis, the Benominee High School girls team bundled up today and they're in Gladstone playing under cold, windy conditions. In number one singles, it was Gladstone's Lauren Parrott in the near court against Menominee's Allison Odia. Parrott is leading in the second set and she go on to win in two straight sets, 6-3, 6-2 as Odia's return goes long. Two number one doubles. It was Gladstone's Paige Schwartz and Anna Caramella against Menominee's Michaela Cooley and Allie Christian. And there, Schwartz gets the backhand winner as the Braves duo wins in three sets. There was no number four singles match, so the Braves win all three singles matches. And the team split the four doubles matches as the Braves get the win 5-2 over Menominee. While well, it may have taken 162 games, the Detroit Tigers finally clinched their fourth consecutive AL Central Division crown Sunday afternoon. As such, they'll open up the ALDS on the road against the AL East champs Baltimore on October 2nd. Now, the Tigers have not won a World Series since 1984, but they have experienced postseason success recently, reaching the ALCS the last three seasons in the World Series in 2012 and 2006. And on the other end, Oakland and Kansas City are battling in the wildcard spot for a shot against the AL West champs, the LA Angels.